Hi guys, my name is Niho. Today we're gonna be talking about back to school season, which I'm not even going back to school. I graduated in March 2020, and for some reason it's giving me anxiety for you. Especially there's such a drastic change this year from being accustomed to like online school and going back to regular school seems like the most dreadful thing ever. And honestly, I don't know how y'all do it. I don't know how y'all will survive this, but I believe in you and hopefully I'm gonna share some tips and tricks with you guys to just help you go into the school year not wanting to no, but seriously, you guys going back to school, whether it's like high school, college, grad school, whatever it may be, or like even going back into like an office setting, our life has been just completely transformed the past year and I just don't see myself going back. I know that for some people, it's been horrible. Online school personally was not for me, but I loved being home and I loved saving time that I lost doing commute because I was a commute student. And also, can we talk about how your college experience is so different whether you live on campus or you're a commute student anyways we're gonna start off with outfit essentials style is super subjective and like you can dress up however you want however there were a few relevant things i wanted to talk about that i feel like could apply to everybody so obviously your style is your thing i'm not gonna tell you how to dress you dress however you want i would first of all just wear a lot of jewelry of course i'm not wearing a lot of jewelry right now i'm just wearing some nice earrings last year i did a double piercing because this is also like a really cool way to elevate your jewelry game however it got infected and it closed off so we don't talk about it, it's fine. I went through the pain. I lost the money and everything to only go back to having a single hole. Jewelry, rings, earrings, it's just a nice way to dress things up. I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about it. Everybody knows. It just really elevates like a basic outfit. Makes you look all put together. Spend your money on one go-to pair of shoes. Mine are, I can't even remember the name of the brand. I think they're Reebok. Yeah, I think my, sh my go-to shoes that I've been wearing all throughout university and I still wear to this day because they are truly Really just such a classic and very uh, wearable with everything my sneakers that I bought the Reebok they've lasted me such a long time and I'm on to my second pair so this was my go-to sneaker and I would also buy a more dressy pair of shoes that you can wear with dressier outfits but also if you need to go for like an interview networking events <sighs> literally gives me anxiety to this day and that leads me to my next point which is to invest into versatile pieces for events i have three things in mind first actually i have four things in mind the first one slip dresses okay you can dress up slip dresses or you can dress them down they're a good outfit for every day they're casual and flowy and it's great put a sweater over it a t-shirt over it and you've got a cool parisian looking kind of outfit or wear it the way that it's meant to as a dress for a networking event. I do feel like you can definitely wear a slip dress to a networking event. If it's too showy for you, you can definitely like put a blazer like a cardigan over it i think a slip dress is like a super versatile piece something that people don't know about going to university is that there's a lot of networking events or like ugh, business opportunities literally makes me want to throw up but the thing is for all of these events you have to pay for the event and you have to pay for your outfit for the event which is ridiculous you definitely want to spend your money wisely and not overspend on outfits that you're only gonna wear for one event because i've done that and it hurts it hurts a lot the next versatile piece that everybody should have is a white button down once again you can wear it for everyday class but you can also whip it out for a quick interview they look so good and they flatter everyone also clean trousers kind of like the durf avenue trousers that i feel like i've been seeing everywhere these are perfect because once again wear it with like an oversized shirt dress it down you look badass street style then switch it up for like a nice little blouse or like a colored type of shirt like this and you're ready for like a networking event business event and also blazers same concept you can dress it down dress it up these four things slip dresses white shirts clean trousers and blazers invest in those pieces you will not regret it because you will wear it all throughout university but also going into your young professional phase of life
Fendi pieces because like I know that you know university is all about taking the cool pics with your friends going out and whatever it may be um I would say do not spend your money on trendy pieces the cycle of fashion nowadays is like crazy insane it used to be like a few years now it's like a couple months almost like a few weeks which is scary and very disheartening for the environment also your favorite influencers will probably tell you to buy something for them to call it chuggy in a few months i would say if you want to have fun with your outfits you should invest into cool accessories i'm thinking like these pink cowboy hats or like cool like necklaces or like bracelets but also a really fun way to spice up your look and be very cool is just to play around with makeup where has the love for makeup gone? Seriously, just go to the dollar store, whip out some rhinestones, and pull yourself a euphoria looking makeup. You're gonna be the main show. Makeup is so fun. Now, speaking of makeup for like every day, what I would do, I personally almost never wear makeup at school. I used to at the beginning, but if like me, you're in a rush, what I highly recommend doing is the night before, just lay your makeup in the order of the things you do and also in the order of the most important steps so for me my most important steps are brows and concealer so I know I'm gonna put my brow products first and that's the first step I'm gonna do because if I see the clock I run out of time and I don't have the time to do anything else I know I'm ready to go this step out the door because I don't care about the rest that's a good trick also I would just recommend like setting your face like most people go back to school when it's still super hot outside so setting sprays powders you will be your besties as far as hair goes i hate dealing with hair when it comes to school if like me you were a commute student you'd spend a lot of time like just getting in and out of like the metro subway the buses and into like air conditioning but most of the time you're just not in a in the environment where there is air conditioning do not take for granted that you will be in air conditioning most of the time just take into consideration that you're gonna be sweaty and disgusting i did my hair this morning and this is what it looks like currently i just want to tell you that humidity and heat is gross and there's just no point in doing your hair but if i were to do my hair what i would do is a sleek back bun or like the sleek back ponytail If you don't want to just do that you can just do like the classic claw clip i just feel like it's a bit more basic because nowadays like everyone uses claw clips but they're still like really great everybody is a bit basic at heart now let's move on to actual essentials this is what i would carry in my tote bag first of all I used to be a backpack girl. I think if I was going back to school, I would definitely bring a tote. Just try to find like a bigger tote than like the normal ones and you'd be good to go. But like technically, is it ergonomic? Probably not. This is what I would carry in my tote bag if I was going back to school. First of all, a water bottle. You want to stay hydrated in school. You don't want to pay for water bottles at school. I don't know about you, but like where I went to school, water bottles were like $3, which is stealing people's money. I would bring of course a lip balm gotta keep those lips nice and hydrated don't forget your face masks like just bring a bunch and you never know when you're gonna need them you never know when something happens and you have to change your face mask also speaking of face masks face masks definitely enhance bad breath okay and something i despise of being in school physically in school was people with bad breath it's just it's so inconsiderate and like i'm not gonna tell you how to live your life but once it impacts me you have to do something about it i remember so many times like not being able to concentrate on what the teacher was saying because the person next to me skipped brushing their teeth in the morning bad breath is a thing and masks do enhance it so just bring some gum with you or like a toothbrush i don't care just keep your oral hygiene situated and under control okay because it affects everybody around you yeah next of course just like a pair of earphones i don't want to flex but like i got the airpods 
No, but like earphones are so essential. Next for note taking, I know that most people have gone digital. If you're one of those people who haven't yet, because I do recommend just going digital because it's so much more compact and easy. Everything is in the same place and you don't have to deal with like tons of notebooks. But what I would do is I would just get like something like this where there's like actual separation of subjects. So you can know like every single section is for one subject. I wouldn't carry more than one notebook, one pen, some whiteout, as well as my colorful highlighters. Where are they? Here they are. Yeah. I'll have these linked down below because like these are literally my favorite ever. And they make a, like a really nice difference. And these ones are my favorite. They're the Zebra. These are ink. I don't like gel points. But this is a gel ink. But I mean, I don't like um, pens with like the ball. And I would actually like not get this brand. My favorite brand was Five Star. I know they're more expensive, but they're so worth it because the quality of the paper. Mm, mm, everyone's writing looks so good on a five star page. Also, what's great about them is that you can detach them. And if like a teacher just asks you to like hand them like a piece of lined paper, then it's great because. You got it all there. I would also bring like an emergency pouch where I would have like band-aids, hand sanitizer, hair elastics, pads, tampons, all of that stuff because you never know when these things happen. Don't forget your snacks, okay? Nuts, bars, whatever it may be. The only thing I didn't like bringing to school was fruits, like especially bananas. And then they would get smashed. It was just like, ugh. Like if anything, I'm willing to pay for fruits at the cafeteria because you know they're there, you know they're fresh, and they're usually pretty cheap. Anyways, that's pretty much all the tips and tricks that I have for back to school. Like remember to have fun and not take it too seriously. And like my biggest advice for people going back to school is just unless you want to do big things in life, unless you're like shooting for the stars then school really doesn't matter all that much so like just do the things that actually make you happy and bring you joy putting your confidence on school is just never a good idea because what even is the point of being a good student no, but seriously, the biggest advice that I do have to give is just to prioritize your mental health always and follow your gut and your instincts. If you think a major is not for you, it's most likely not for you. And you have time, you'll figure it out. You're young. I'm literally on my lunch break and I haven't eaten lunch. So I'm gonna do that and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.